Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are looking at 10 of our best shipping container house designs with floor plans. We are bringing to you the smallest house design we've done using a 20 foot shipping container to the largest house design we've done using six 40 foot shipping containers. So stay tuned to find out more about these 10 amazing house designs. Good, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, feel free to subscribe so that you can be receiving our weekly updates on amazing shipping container house and shipping container house reviews from around the world. So our first shipping container house is Ecobox 160. This is a shipping container house we've designed using one 20 foot shipping container house to create uh, 160 square feet of uh, habitable space and uh, this is a small house uh, you can use it uh, in your backyard and it can be ideal for a guest house or an art studio if you are an artist or a children play playroom yeah so if you are looking for a small house to complement your uh, backyard or your house garden then this is an ideal house for you so you can consider having it and it can accommodate a full bathroom a sink and also a, some lounge space our second house is design is ecobox 320 this is a shipping container house designed from one 40 foot shipping container and you are able to accommodate a bedroom a lounge space a kitchenette and uh, a full bathroom so we've given you a very generous outdoor seating space so that you are able to complement the small uh, interior space that is provided by a shipping container module. So you can explore different materials and colors in terms of exterior finishes and also consider giving it a, a cover on the roof so that you can shield it from direct weather elements. So a corrugated roofing will be ideal. Yeah explore using a pagola or a trellis to just shade off the outdoor seating spaces maximum daylighting using full height glazing and also you can use light colored finishes for the interior so that you can make the space look like the leader so you consider all those options and therefore you find that this can also be ideal for a, a guest house or a, a children's playroom depending on what you need our third house is lip box 480. This is a container house made from three uh, made from two shipping containers. Sorry, and uh, one is a 40 foot shipping container, and we also have a 20 foot shipping container. So the 20 foot shipping container is stuck on top of a 40 foot shipping container to create 480 square feet of habitable space. So you have the topmost level exclusively provided for using for the for the master bedroom and the, the living quarters are on the lower container. So from there you are able to accommodate uh, two bedrooms, you have some living space, you also have a full bathroom on the lower and on the upper level. So consider using also some uh, trellis to cover the staircase like in that particular design and then you also have that nice panoramic view of uh, from the upper level so that you can enjoy the views yeah so in terms of exterior finishes feel free to explore all that you are able to do our next house is uh, block box 640 this is an interesting design we've used two 40 foot shipping containers to create a three bedroom house yeah and therefore you are able to accommodate three bedrooms master and suit with a walk-in and then you also have a nice sitting space a lounge area and a dining and a full kitchen so you can also explore different uh, exterior finishes from there you'll be able to at least uh, use different colors and different materials uh, as you feel uh, appropriate and interesting for your design full glazing to allow maximum daylighting to be encouraged and then you also consider lifting the containers off the ground as we always do so that at least you keep them away from moisture 
in terms of interior finishes use what we call minimal minimalist interior furnishing so that you don't clutter the space yeah black pack uh, cabinet can be ideal also for the kitchen consider using that yeah so if you also want to try transformative furniture like murphy beds feel free our next house is cliff box 640 so these are two 40 foot shipping containers that have been stuck on top of each other and then they've been sheared horizontally to create some nice outdoor cliffhanger space so from there you are able to see we are able to accommodate uh, the maximum of uh, two bedrooms uh, we have a bathroom and we have a generous living space on the ground floor so you are able to at least uh, accommodate all those spaces the nice outdoor sitting area is ideal for tropical climate to enjoy the breezes and even for outdoor dining and even sitting extra different colors in terms of finishes we have used a nice juliet balcony on this particular design so that you can enjoy views from the master bedroom we also have an outdoor terrace on the upper level we have an interesting uh, staircase that you can uh, use to access the upper level on the ground floor we have a nice sitting area and also you have good furnishing you can try out so all that is for you to try out and if you like the design then feel free to build one or even explore opportunities the next house is shear box 640 this is an interesting design we've also used uh, two 40 foot shipping containers to create an interesting build whereby we've managed to do three bedrooms you can also do another variance of four bedrooms yeah and then two bathrooms and then we have a sitting area and also a dining and a kitchen yeah this is interesting because we also try to use some corrugated sheeting from uh, the back side so that it can shield the house from weather elements and then it does a nice killian roof which gives this house its character so we have also explored different colors we have the red color for the window bands we also have the retained the color for the original shipping containers it came with we have nice views to the interiors we have also used uh, light colored uh, paint in terms of the interior so that makes the space look slightly bigger than what it is yeah you can explore flat packs for the kitchen cabinets and also explore the issue of transformative furniture for the bedrooms murphy beds would come in ideal next we have the lift box 1280 these are 1280 square feet of space that's been created with the two shipping containers this is interesting because what you've done you've used stone ledges on both edges and then we've lifted the containers on the above up to like 3,000 3, millimeters those are, those are three meters above ground so what it does is basically doubles up the habitable space so you use two shipping containers to get a habitable space that is equivalent to four shipping containers so if you are feeling like you want to explore this this would be an ideal space creator and also uh, an ideal way to save money so that you use two shipping containers instead of four and therefore you also would consider covering the roof with the corrugated steel to shield it from weather elements ah uh, you can explore interiors in terms of different materials we've used some timber cladding there to just create a bit of uh, uh, exciting interior cladding you can explore those materials depending on what you feel is ideal for you our next interesting build would be splay box uh, 1280 these are four shipping containers which create 1,280 square feet of habitable space. And we have two containers arranged together to create two pairs. Yeah, so in total we get four. So one pair is for the private spaces, that is the bedrooms, and the other pair is for, for the living quarters. Yeah, we've also explored different materials in terms of um, uh, exterior cladding using timber. You can also use recycled timber. Consider using full glazing to allow in maximum daylighting. Yeah, and therefore we have also a nice outdoor family terrace and an interesting entrance porch which gives character to this house. Yeah, so you can explore all that. Consider also retaining the exterior colors that came with the container so that you can at least preserve its history. 
The, the roof is also covered with corrugated steel to shield it from weather elements. Nice outdoor seating area for family functions like uh, outdoor eating and also dining. Yeah, we have various uh, things we've accommodated and you can explore all that from the plans as indicated. A nice view from the outdoor seating area uh, from the living quarters gives you a nice view on that. The next house we are looking at is Crossbox 1280. These are four shipping containers that have been arranged in a cruciform uh, pattern whereby we have two containers creating one pair on the ground floor and two other containers creating another pair on the upper floor which have been arranged in a cross uh, format. So we have the living quarters on the ground floor and then we have the, the private quarters. Those are the bedrooms on the upper levels. So this gives you an opportunity to create that privacy gradient whereby as you go up, you have, uh, you have the privacy gradient also increasing as you go up. Juliet balconies provide you some nice access to outdoor uh, space you can explore different materials in terms of colors yeah we have a nice turkey shaft which also helps us to give character to our design an entrance porch which is under the cantilevered uh, shipping containers we also have a nice outdoor seating space for family terrace on the upper level the master bedroom is quite spacious and it is has a nice access to the outdoor space using those juliet balconies we have a nice uh, living quarters of the ground floor which also have been finished with some nice light colored finishes. So our next build which is the last house we are looking at is stack box 1920. This is a huge uh, shipping container house that has been designed using six uh, 40 foot shipping containers that have been stuck on top of each other and they've been sheared horizontally to create some interesting outdoor seating spaces in form of terraces and also balconies. So we have uh, three levels. The first level on the ground floor is occupied by living quarters and a garage. And then now uh, we have uh, the second level which is occupied by bedroom spaces. So we have three bedrooms and a family terrace and also we have a family room on that level. On the uppermost level we have a master bedroom and an additional bedroom and uh, we also have some nice outdoor seating space for the family for the master bedroom. We have a garage in this particular design so that at least if you want to accommodate your car then this design will also give you that opportunity. So the good thing about this design is that it gives you maximum space and also gives you opportunities in what you can explore as far as design using shipping container goes. So we've managed to do all this because it's very flexible. You just need to manipulate the modules and therefore you'll be able to achieve whatever you want as far as shipping container house designs are concerned. So that is what we have for you in this video and if you like what you've seen feel free to subscribe to our channel so that you'll be receiving our weekly updates in form of uh, shipping container house designs and shipping container house uh, reviews from around the world. You can also download our presentation plans from our website. If you want to find out more about all these shipping container house designs, we have the links for each and every video in the description below. So feel free to click on them and just view the entire video so that you can enjoy what you've seen. This is just a snippet of what we've done for you. And therefore, if you have any questions, you have any comments or you have be interested in buying blueprints or floor plans, also get in touch with that with us through our website and we'll get in touch with you. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.